folks. Hope everybody's having a good Monday. <clears throat> Dropped my tamper. My week must suck. You ever seen a dumpster on fire? Either in reality or metaphorically speaking. You ever been burned in a dumpster fire? only one way for that to happen you jump in the dumpster you read into that what you will seem to have had, here I go, approaching the dumpster. Seem to have had a spate of interesting topics recently. Controversy here and there. find it pointless to be honest of course I have an opinion on it everybody does whether they voice it or not so somebody puts out a video that you don't like You go to a restaurant. You're a big fan of hamburgers. Me. They have 50 different hamburgers on their menu. All of them seem very appetizing. You can't even decide. You can't come close. Which one should I get? Then on the last page, they have a veggie burger and two salads. Are you going to get pissed off because they have a veggie burger and two salads on the menu? Or are you just not going to order that? Seems logical to me. Did you have an opinion on the veggie burgers and the salads? Certainly. But why should that determine your experience in that restaurant? Somebody puts a video up you don't like. Don't order it. Don't eat it. Don't watch it. Are you, are you so hard pressed for time that you can't get that 10 minutes of your life back and you're forever uh, you know, offended by that fact? Nobody made you sign on to YouTube to begin with. Myself. I 
enjoy art, not Pipes and Spirits, Artie's Place, which I do enjoy art quite a bit. I think he's a great guy. I'm talking about paintings, things like that. Two of my favorite styles of art are painting. realism things that look like what they're intended to look like when someone sees a tree and they paint a tree and you go oh that's a tree I don't have to decipher the meaning behind the painting and I also enjoy most of what came out of the impressionist movement specifically Monet that's a style of art where somebody sees a tree and they paint their impression of it and it looks a lot like a tree it's not a perfect representation of a tree but it tells you what their impression of it was it's their opinion of what their painting of that tree should look like Impressionism. And I think some of the most beautiful paintings that have ever been painted came out of Monet's brush. And also some of the classic painters like, you know, Renoir. Some of the people that were painting portraits back in the 16th and 17th centuries. You see what they saw. You see what was there. You know, that, that's cool with me. Those are the kind of channels that I enjoy. I know I did a video recently about the content of the YTPC. I think by and large it was taken in the right context. I think the only people that really took it the wrong way were the people that didn't see the original video that were just commenting on other people's comments about the video. <laughs> Never mind. video my basic meaning was not I think there should be X videos videos about X my comment or my my thought was I generally enjoy more videos about X So I enjoy the videos where people present something that's very straightforward, be it a tobacco review or their opinion about tough skins jeans. I don't care what it is. If I'm interested in the topic and they present it in that way, that's cool with me. Likewise, impressions. I enjoy people's thoughts on different subjects, their impressions of whatever it, be, it may be. What I don't like, what I absolutely detest, <laughs> is fake. I can't stand coming away with the impression
interrupted by a phone call. Can't stand coming away the, with the impression that that person isn't who they say they are. They're pretending to be something they aren't. They're unoriginal in an intentional way. I think that's also called plagiarism in some circles. Those are the channels that I don't like, and I avoid them. And there are quite a few of them out there, quite a few popular ones out there that I absolutely avoid because it's just not real to me, and I don't enjoy it. Now, I don't go on there and hammer them and ridicule them thumbs down generally decide it's my job to be a pain in their ass I don't enjoy that either I saw someone make a comment on a video recently oh if I don't like something I just don't watch it period blah 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 this is a person that is a relentless thumbs downer has given me more thumbs down by himself than all of YouTube combined that may or may not be accurate but it's pretty damn close that person I have previously unfollowed because their content did nothing for me. They did not seem to be a realistic human being. not really going anywhere with this I'm just yakking maybe clarifying a position that I had not telling you what to do do what you want I'll either agree with it or not it's <laughs> it shouldn't bother you one bit or thrill you one bit which of those paths I choose I'm just some random guy. I mean, absolutely nothing. climb out of the dumpster I may not even post this video I haven't decided yet so if you see it then you'll know I did but chances are you didn't stick around for 14 minutes very few do hey if you did stick around for the whole video let me know it tell me who the first president of the United States was You guys enjoy your pipe. Ignore the hype.